Hi, Claudia. Hi, Domingo. Hola, ¿me escucha, Domingo? Claudia, ¿me escucha, Jorgito? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. And the fear of our class, eh, I am listening, teacher. Okay, Claudia, no se preocupe, ¿cómo sigo su papá? Eh, ya está, ya está mejorcito todavía. Eh, estamos con curaciones ahí con él, pero ya primero Dios, quizás. Va a estar mejorcito. Gracias, teacher. Me alegro mucho. Gracias a usted por estar en clase. Gracias a usted por comprender. No se preocupe. Very nice. Hi, Gaby. Hi, Jorgito. Carlos. Hello, Domingo. ¿Cómo le fue Domingo ahora? ¿Súper bien? ¿Ocupado? Uh, today is good. Okay. That's nice, Domingo. Yes. Okay. All right, very good. Hi, Mariano. All right, Carlos va manejando igual que Jorge, ¿verdad? Así es que no hay problema. Hi, Vane. Uh, sorry. Hi, Hi Hello. All right, guys, very good. Welcome to another class. Welcome to another week. All right, tenemos esta semana full y luego entramos a una de receso. All right, que sería Semana Santa y luego nos volvemos a ver el siguiente lunes. Que si es, no estoy mal, es el 18. Yes, Monday 18th. Y esa sería the last week of uh, this module of yours. Okay, very good, guys. Um, Let's see, I'm going to take attendance in un par de minutitos para ver que entren más compañeros y compañeras. All right. ¿Cómo estamos con el examen de medio curso? ¿Terminado? Yes, no? No, Jet. Mariano, what happened, Mariano? <laughs> All right, very good. Egbert, yeah, you finished the test, the midterm? Good evening, teacher. Yes, I did. Excellent, very nice. Thank you, Ever. Domingo, did you finish the quiz too? El examen de medio curso? Yes, teacher, the finish. Excellent, very nice. Uh, hi, Daniel. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm great, Daniel. Thank you. Just beginning another week. Daniel, did you finish your uh, midterm exam? Uh, yes, teacher. Yes, and the uh, Friday out uh, and the uh, um, a great, I okay. finish. Excellent. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, very nice, thank you. Um, what about uh, Vane, Gabi? Have you finished your midterm test? Yes, teacher, I did it last, last week, I think. Okay, thank you, Gabi. All right, very good. All right, then we have Doris and the rest of you guys. All right, well, I'm gonna keep on asking later as we go along when we move along with the class. So we're going to begin. All right, yes, thank you, Claudita. Thank you so much for answering, thank you. All right, all right, let's see. So this, as I was telling you at uh, the beginning of like, like five minutes ago, I was telling you that this is the last class. I mean, this is the last week of uh, I mean, the last week before holidays. Y after holidays, tenemos una semana más. And then we finish. All right? Así es que no se me vayan a confundir. Esta es la última semana antes de vacación y luego regresamos a terminar la última semana del módulo. Okay? Yes? All right, then we finish intermediate one. Y se mueven ya al intermediate two. All right, so. Hi, Vicky. Que me alegre ver la Vicky. <laughs> All right, so we are here on unit three page. Yeah, we finished this one last class. 
We are here on Unit 3, page 25. Hágame un favor, recuérdenme si nos quedó pendiente algo del viernes o lo terminamos todo. De revisar, me refiero. Do you remember? I think we finished everything ever, yes? I, yes, I remember yes, finish. Okay, yes, I remember. Yes, yeah. okay. Excellent, thank you. All right, good very night, good. Yes, all right, so it says unit three, I will be able to interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. All right, so vamos a ver eh, sobre schedules, all right, that we have at work. So let's do number one, let's start. Daniel, porque no se abandonó el viernes, ¿verdad que no entró el viernes, Danielito? No, teacher, I was to go to my work. No se preocupe. We have, a, we have another plan. <laughs> ah, okay, that's okay. All right, Daniel, can you read number one? Let's start, please. Okay, uh, let's start. What is your daily schedule like at work? And uh, who is in charge of organizing the staff schedule in your company. Okay. A ver, Daniel, hágame un favor, Daniel. Yes. Tell me this word again. Uh, in charge. In charge. All right. Very nice. Who okay. is in charge? Yes. Yes. Very nice. Thank right. you. So, what is your daily schedule like at work? No su personal schedule, ¿verdad? Si usted se levanta o sale a correr o va a la iglesia. No, we're talking about a schedule at work. And the other one is, who is in charge of organizing a staff schedules in your company? All right, so there are many people that are in charge of making uh, your schedules. All right, so we're going to check that later. Number two. Después vamos a regresar al uno. Mariano. Mariano, ¿está por ahí? Yes, teacher. All right. I'm here. Mariano, can you read the instruction for number two? Y luego, Mariano, you're going to be Rubén, and Vanessa, you're going to be Jenny. Okay? Perfect, teacher. Uh, number two. Uh -huh. Take turns, practice this conversation with a classmate. Practice or practicing, Mariano? Practicing. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Ruben, uh, okay, let's check the schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m so that you can serve the up for the restaurant of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Thank you, Vane. Thank you, Mariano. Very nice. All right, Johnny, can you please be Ruben? And Vicky, can you please be Jenny? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to a.m. No. 9 to 11 a.m. Yes. Uh -huh. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. So that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the remit. reminder. 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 Excellent, Vicky. Very nice. All right, the last two. Let me see. Ever, can you please be Jenny? And Domingo, can you please be Ruben? Uh, okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. All right. Uh, you have to start coming for Gladys, Gladys as the 
hostage today from 9 to 11 a.m. The, then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve it for the rest on the afternoon until, until 6 p.m. We'll do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay, very good. All right. Revisen ahí. Can you check the conversation and check for new words or for pronunciation, please? Uh, you till 6 p.m.? Until. Until, okay. Uh, until is um, hasta. Mm -hmm. Until. Uh -huh. Hasta la hasta. Yeah, until is a preposition. Very good. All right. So until means hasta. All right. Someone else? Hostess. Ah, hostess. All right. When you go, acuérdense que estamos siempre hablando de restaurants. Cuando ustedes van a un restaurante, depende obviamente del tipo de restaurante, Hay una persona, a veces es mujer, a veces es hombre, que lo sienta. Permítame. Ahora right, que los pasa adelante dentro del restaurante, ¿verdad? Y ya le, le da la bienvenida y tal cual. A eso se le llama hostess. Ahora, hostess es a girl. So usted, if you work in a restaurant and you are a man, usted es el host, or el anfitrión. Or usted hace que las personas entren y ya pasen adelante del restaurante y les, eh, les indica la mesa. All right, that's hostess. All right, so hostess is for girls and host is for boys. All right, anything else? Everything else is okay? Yeah? All right. Vamos a tomar la primera asistencia y luego regresamos at the conversation here. Just give me a second. A ver, uh, we have Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlitos, por ahí lo vi. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Yes. Oh, Carlitos, yes. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Thank you, Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Thank you, Debbie. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present. Tony Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. All right, Carla Benacir Lara González. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Camilla Jurado. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Mariano Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you, Vicky. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Bismar Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Julio um, César Vega Aguilar. Okay. Then we have Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodriguez. Present. All right, thank you. ¿Qué me le pasa, Doris? All right, Victoria Maria Vasquez Juarez. Victoria's not in yet. And that's it. All right. All right, guys. All right, so let's continue here with the conversation then as we follow along. A ver, nos cuesta algunos, nos cuesta un poquito más que otros. La palabra es, antes que las comparto otra vez, la palabra es schedule, all right? Es horario, es, 
es like schedule, jewel. No sé cómo escribírselos, pero no es schedule, es schedule, eh, no es schedule, ay, no sé, pero es schedule, all right, schedule. Hay que enrollar por ahí la lengua. A ver, a ver, Ever, regáleme esa pronunciación, schedule. 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 Jewel. <laughs> schedule. Inténtelo, Ever. Schedule. All right. Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Daniel. Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Vicky. Schedule. Very good, Vicky. Nice, Vicky. Very good. Walter, can you tell me schedule? Schedule. All right, schedule. Johnny. Schedule. No. Schedule. Ah, schedule. Very good. Uh, Jorgito, no sé si lo puede decir. Si no, vamos con Doris. Um, no lo veo, pero schedule. Schedule. Very good, Jorge. Very nice. Yes, Doris. Schedule. Excellent, very nice. Thank you. Gabby? Schedule. 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 Uh -huh. Schedule. Very good. Mariano? Schedule. Very nice. Mariano Vane? Schedule. 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 All right, very good. Bismar? Schedule. 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 A schedule. <laughs> schedule. All right, very good. Yes, all right. Veamos. Carlitos, no sé, creo que está manejando. Claudita ahorita no puede. Uh, Debbie tampoco. No sé si Leti, Trini, and Linda, can you say? Just me, teacher. Schedule. Schedule, very good. Claudita y Linda también y Leti al mismo tiempo. Very good. Schedule. Ah, bueno. Okay, entonces, entonces todos logran. Entonces, ya lo conocen. Claudita, ¿pueden ver el chat donde escribió Claudita? Yes. Ah, pues así es la pronunciación. Schedule. All right. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Yeah, Claudita. All right. Schedule. Ok. Es como muy parecido a lo que tiene que ser. Schedule. Very good. All right. So now, con eso en mente, let's go back to the conversation. Entonces. La primera línea, let me see, Johnny, solo lea lo, donde, lo que dice Rubén nada más, hasta donde dice today, ni siquiera diga Jenny. Ok, let's check your schedule for today. Yes, very nice, thank you. All right, vamos, estoy revisando el schedule. A ver, Doris, la oración. Ok, let's check your schedule for today. All right, nice, Vanessa. Okay, let's check your schedule for today. All right, nice, very good. All right, let's see. Trini, schedule? Schedule. Schedule, very good, yes. All right, veamos entonces. Después dice, you have to start covering for Gladys as the hostess today from 9 to 11. Then you can go to lunch. You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon until 6 p.m. Will do. Esa expresión will do. Do you understand it? Yes, teacher. Yes? Everybody understands will do? Yes. All right. So what would it be? Like, lo haré. Ajá. Como así será. All right. That's mm. what it means. All right. All right. Very nice. So, we'll do is como, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, you have to do the, um, you have to do the test for the platform. Se me dice, we'll do, teacher. All right. Si será, si lo haré. Okay. No hay problema. It will happen. All right. Now, eh, thanks for the reminder. The word reminder. Entendemos la palabra reminder. Recordar. Recordatorio. Recordatorio, exacto. Re re reminder and reminder. 
That was very loud. I'm sorry. Reminder es recordatorio. All right. Yes. Thanks for that reminder. All right, guys. Very good. Number three, it says building vocabulary, match the names of the staff members to the right descriptions. We have executive chef, server, host or hostess, kitchen manager, and cashier. Igual, no quiero que vean ahorita, todavía no, y si lo están viendo, deje de verlo. <laughs> All right, la definición que está abajo, do not see it. All right, solo piense ahorita, ponga en su cuaderno donde se escriba. Executive chef, server, host o hostess, kitchen manager and cashier. Y escríbame definiciones, cómo me lo define. That's important. ¿Saben por qué? Porque usted así aprende a expresar o a explicar una palabra que alguien más no pueda entender o que no sepa. All right. Y no quiero translators, no quiero diccionarios, quiero su definición, su explicación. No quiero ejemplos. I want the definitions. Les doy un par de minutitos. Aquí estoy. All right. No vean lo que dice ahí en su libro. Hágalo usted individual sin nada de ayuda. Hi, hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Manuel. We are we, well. We are working on page. Permítame. Page twenty-five, Manuel. Exercise three. Twenty-five. Okay. Thank you. Donde dice building exercises or building vocabulary. Solo que no va a ser el ejercicio todavía, sino que me va a definir esas palabritas que están en rojo. ¿Cómo explica usted que es host, que es executive chef, que es manager? All right, en sus propias palabras sin ver el ejercicio de abajo, Manuel, ¿ok? En eso están los compañeros. Ok, host. Teacher. Yes, Manuel. Es eh, page 25, ¿verdad? Page 25, exercise 3, Manuel. Exercise 3. Mm -hmm. Ok.
Are we finished or not yet? Yes, teacher, I finished. All right, Daniel, very good. The rest of you guys, are you finished? Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. Thank you, Walter. Gabby, finished? Yes. All right. All right, I'll give everybody else. Well, we're going to start now. Let's see, Daniel, I want you to tell me what is the definition for you of executive chef? What is executive chef for you, Daniel? Executive chef is person in charge of the administration of kitchen. Okay, all right. That's ex executive chef for you. Very good. Someone else, what is executive chef for you guys? What is the definition you give? Is the person who takes the decision about the dishes. Okay, all right. I like that one. Very nice. Anybody else? Vamos a oír dos más del executive it's, chef. It's the main chef. Main chef. It's the main chef. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mariano. All right, interesting. All right, someone teacher, else. Teacher, yeah. teacher, professional who practice the profession. <laughs> okay, Vicky. All right, very good. Uh, Manuel, tell me. Principal chef of the kitchen at the restaurant. Okay, all right, very good. Ya vamos a ver que es executive chef. Very good. Number two, server. In your own words, I need four definitions, four students to tell me what is a server in your own uh, words. Um, he is like a waitress, the person who attend the customer in the table. All right, the person who attends the customer. The customer is in or on the table? On the table. Porque no on the table. table. En la mesa, sino que está ahí. <laughs> It's on the table. Yes, very on good. On the table. Yes, very nice. Someone else. Bane, ¿qué tiene por server? A word that helps you with look for a seat, take your order, and bring it correctly. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hold on. One more. Um, person who who receives the food orders, give it to the chef and serve the food for the customers, or to the customers. 
serves the food to the customer. All right, excellent, very good. One more, the last one for server. One more server. Is who I can the customer. All right, all right, very nice. All right, number three. Let's see what we have for number three. Host or hostess. He receives two customers. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Anybody? Is the person to give the welcome salutation and give the basic information to the customer? Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Como que leyó mi, como que leyó mi respuesta, Ever. Ah, que se la haber pasado. Very good. <laughs> a ver, Vicky, what do you have? Esa misma es, teacher. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's see, let's continue here then. Now, kitchen manager. What's a kitchen manager? The person who cook uh, administration uh, part of the area and, and food. All right, okay. All right, thank you, Leti. Anybody else? The boss in the kitchen. The boss in the kitchen. All right, Walter, very nice. Okay, someone else? Yes. Manuel and Gabi. Adelante, Gabi. All right, Gabi, ladies first. <laughs> uh, is uh, a person who's in charge of all related, all related, all related related in the kitchen and also checks the resources all right okay nice i like that yes manuel restaurant worker at the kitchen okay all right very nice and let's see do we have here cashier who's the cashier the person <laughs> i like that uh -huh. <laughs> The person who say the person who say how much or give a bill at the end of the dinner. Okay, very nice. All right, thank you. Someone else. Anybody else? I don't know the the person who is the, in a church to receive two different payments to the customers. Yes, for sure. Okay, someone else. What's a cashier for you? What is a kid? You're trying to explain to someone what a cashier is. A person who receives the payment from the customers. Yes, Vane, very well, thank you. All right, so now let's go back to the book. Si lo podemos ver. All right, and I want you to do the matching. Vamos a hacerlo ahí, permítame. All right, so here we have the person handling payments in a restaurant, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen and staff and food standards, a person who hires a staff, purchases food and makes sure everyone is trained, a waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink, a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. All right, let's do it again. Tres minutitos para que pongan ahí what is number one, what is number two, three, four, and five, okay?
All right, number one, executive chef. Which one is it, guys? A person in charge of creating menus, menus, managing kitchen staff and food standards. All right, that's for you. All right, everybody agrees with Mariano. Or you have a different answer? Oh, teacher. I have a friend. What do you have? Evan? Person who hires staff, purchase food, and makes sure everyone is training. Training. Me too. Mm, are you guys sure? I go more with Mariano's answer. Yeah, the executive chefs uh, creating menus. Yes, because I think the kitchen manager is the one that hires. Is creating menus, managing kitchen, staff, is a full standard. It's executive chef, Domingo. Ah, okay. Yeah, I have that one too. I say executive chef is a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food standards. All right, I think that would be the right one. What about server? Server, a waiter, or white waitress uh -huh. to, to do after customer white food I drink. All right, everybody agrees with Domingo? Number two. Yes, I'm agree. You agree? All right, so number two is a waiter or waitress who attends customers with food and drink. What about host or hostess? A person who greets arriving guests. Arriving welcome guests? Them, uh -huh. Welcome them into the restaurant and sit in sit them. Right, very good. Okay. Oops. All right. So a person, a host or hostess is a person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and sits them. Very good. What about kitchen manager? Um, the kitchen manager, a person who hires staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Yes, I agree with you. Very good. All right. And cashier? What's a cashier, guys? The person handling payment in a restaurant. Thank you, Trini. Yes, a per the person handling payments in a restaurant. All right. Okay. Oi. What did I do? Oh, no. I made it very small. Hold on, guys. All right. Let's continue here then with the next. Whoa. What am I doing? Ah. Guys, I did something. I don't know what I did. Zoom teacher. Yeah, I zoomed it for some reason, <laughs> but I didn't even know how. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. Okay, so let's continue here with this. Okay, all right, so here we have this one. Next, go on here. It says, number four, pair work, discuss these questions with a partner. When does Jenny's shift start? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant? And what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? Van a contestar estas tres que no les va a costar mucho, estas tres questions in your groups, but you are also, when you finish this exercise four, Quiero que regresen a esto, al exercise one. What is your daily schedule like at work? All right. And who is in charge of organizing the staff schedules in your company? Si usted tiene un horario fijo de 8 a 5, de 9 a 5, de 7 a 3, como sea su horario, all right, y no rota, all right, so you say, well, my daily schedule is the same every day. 
from 8 to 5 or from 8 to 6, la, el horario que usted tenga. All right? ¿Y quién se lo asignó en el caso que fuese así? Pues el gerente o recursos humanos or whoever. Entonces, let's talk about what, uh, exercise number four, basado en la um, conversation, and then please work an exercise one, okay? All right, guys, tome nota de lo que dicen sus compañeros because when we come back, you're going to tell me about them. So let's do six here. Hold on, guys. Yeah. All right, let's go. Igual si no puede participar en las salas, no se preocupe, quédese aquí. Hola Roberto. Hello teacher. Hello Roberto, ¿puede participar en los grupos ahorita? Acaban de irse. Sí, sí puedo. Ahora, right, sí ahorita, ahorita lo mando. Están trabajando en la página 25, oye. Bueno.
Chicha, me ayuda. Es que se me cayó el internet. Hola, Vane, no habían terminado todavía, porque hasta Carlos iba. No. Es que se me cayó el internet, entonces no sé si ya nos sacó. Pero no habían terminado cuando usted la sacó la inter. No habían terminado aún. Did you finish, Danny? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Everybody's coming back right now as we speak. So we're going to continue. I have invasion today of moths. All right. All right, so can you guys see my screen right now? Can you see my screen? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. All right, so number one, we have when does Jenny, Jenny's shift start? What is the answer for that one? She does start from 9 a.m. Okay, all right. De Doris, ¿cómo me puso la respuesta? Dígamelo otra vez. She does uh -huh. start from 9, from 9 a.m. Okay, a ver, dos cosas. Uh, Doris, cuando <laughs> contestamos, when does Jenny's shift start? Solo ponemos... Eh, podemos poner nada más Jenny, eh, shift, Jenny's shift start sin el das. De hecho, no necesitamos el das ahí. ¿Me entiende? El das no eh, tiene que ir. ¿Por qué si me lo está preguntando? No, no está como auxiliar en la pregunta. Sí, como auxiliar en la pregunta, pero no en la respuesta. Ah, no tiene que ir. She does. No, no y ocupa el verbo que ellos están usando que en este caso sería start oh, ah, es she, sería Jenny shift Jenny start. shift starts at 9 a.m. ajá el das ah. lo precisamente en la pregunta no en la ajá. respuesta uh -huh. all right pero porque hay preguntas que uno responde she does porque es el verbo Teacher. principal. Teacher, oh. if, ha, if have, era que puede usar. Ya voy, Domingo. Permítame. Entonces, en este caso, Jenny, si por decirle algo fuera, uh, bueno, la última, la tercera dice, what does Jenny have to do? All right. O si yo le preguntara, what does Jenny do? Entonces, ahí sí lo ocupa como verbo. Jenny does housework. All right. Pero mm. en este caso, están ocupando el verbo principal, es start. No, no. Ah, sí, porque eh, porque in, in the last one, uh, the answer is she has to serve. Ajá. Ay, ah, pues. All right, yes. Domingo, ¿qué decía? Perdóneme. Uh, Domingo, ¿qué decía? Ajá. Uh, y si usaba have, Jenny have shift start. Jenny? Have, have shift start. Eh, el verbo have. 
Ajá. Tampoco, no tiene por qué ir. Mm. A menos que usted ponga, ella tiene que empezar. She has to start. Ahí sí. Ah, ok. Pero de lo contrario, no, Domingo. No le pondría has para nada. Okay. All right. Ok. All right, very good. What about number two? What is Jenny's job in the restaurant, guys? What is, what is her job? Jenny is a hostess. Jenny is a hostess. All right. Okay. And number three, what does Jenny have to do from 1 to 6 p.m.? She has, she has to serve. She has to serve. She rests between 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. No, no, she she has no. to serve from one to six. She rests from eleven to one, right? Eleven to one, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So what does yeah. Jenny have to do from one to six? She has to serve, or she serves. Como se quiera poner ahí. Uh -huh. All right, very okay. good. All right, oops, I'm gonna erase this. Then we have here going to back to number one. We have what is. Anymore. Anyway. All right. Uh, we have there number one. What is your daily schedule like at work? I'm gonna ask some of you guys. Uh, but first I'm gonna take the second attendance y luego revisamos esta. All right, let's see. Adela Trinidad González Consuelo. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Carlitos. All right, thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. All right, then we have Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Debbie, Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Ahí está Debbie. Domingo Alexander uh, González. Present. All right, very good. Then we have Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Jose Roberto Martinez Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. A ver, then we have Carla Benacir Lara González. Carlita no entró. All right, then we have Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Abre. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Then we have, yes, Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Maria Gabriela Batres Marmol. Present. All right, then we have Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. All right, um, Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. Very good, thank you. All right, so let's continue here. Group number one, según acá yo tengo, group number one is Trini, Johnny, and Mariano, pero creo que Johnny no logró entrar. All right. Igual, let's see here. Mariano and Trini. Mariano, tell me about um, Trini's schedule. What is her okay. schedule like at work? Okay, teacher. Uh, Trini start to work at 7 a.m. Okay. And to um, the, that 7 to 9, 10, uh, she... Dar, who teaches? She teaches. Uh -huh. Okay. She teaches classes. And uh huh. She, she teaches class. Then the to night ten to nine forty. Uh huh. From 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 uh, Mariano. What is it? La preposición from, from and to. From. Uh -huh. It's a recess. 
Ah, okay. So she has recess. Okay. She has a recess. And to 940 from. Al revés, Mariano. From es primero y después from, es el two. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. from 940 to 1040. Uh, it's a. Uh, she teaches class. Okay. All right. And. She finished the class at 11.45. She finish or she finishes, Mariano? She finishes class. Thank you. All right. Okay, so she finishes class. Very good. Um, let's see. Trini, what about Mariano? What is his schedule like at work? The schedule of Mariano is from 8 a.m. to 10, supervised activity workshop area oh okay the from 10 to 12 uh -huh. he check email from 12 to 1 p.m uh -huh. long time okay from 1 p.m to 4 p.m supervise other projects ah all right Trini, solo asegúrese que en todo eso haya puesto tercera persona singular, ¿verdad? He checks, supervises, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de Mariano, ¿all right? Ok. Very thank good, you. yes, very good. Um, very good, Trini, very good. You have a little thank you here in my face. All right, very good. Uh, group number two, Leti and Walter, ¿all right? So, Walter, can you tell me about Leti's schedule, please? Yes, let us say uh, she wore uh, a.m. to 5 p.m. And some days uh, she may be finishes early. Okay. Depends on the clients. Ah, all right, very good, okay. What about Leti? Can you tell me about Walter's um, schedule? Uh, yes, Walter, she had a... Um... He, he, he told me uh -huh. that her, no, his schedule is, um, he got out early, and so he, is, he starts um, 7, 7 a.m. and okay. to finish uh, 5 p.m. on Monday uh, to to Tuesdays okay. on Friday, he has uh, a, to finish work at 2 p.m. Okay. All right. And okay. only. Only that, all right, very nice, thank you. Let's see, Manuel and Gabi. All right, Gabi, tell me about Manuel's schedule, please. Um, sure, also was Roberto. Uh, well, Manuel works as a consultant, so he doesn't have a like a like a strict schedule. He, okay. Sometimes he works at he wakes up at three a.m. probably to attend a meeting at four a.m. or okay. he has to travel to another department. Oh. So he ha doesn't have a, a strict strict steady, schedule. Steady schedule. All right. Okay. And also Roberto works in a he is in charge of product and maintenance area. Okay. He starts at 8 a.m. to 6 30. Um, he, uh, first of all, he sanitizes his hands and cleans his office. Okay. After that, he answers important emails and, uh, and also attends meetings to, okay. to the rest of the day. And that's all. All right, very nice. All right, who can tell me either Roberto or who was the other one, Manuel, right? About yeah. Gabby's schedule. What did Gabby tell you about, guys? Manuel or Roberto, can you tell me about Gabby's? No? Okay, uh, um, Gabby, she doesn't have a schedule. And she have a schedule independent for her study at the university. Okay. And, some, and sometimes 
and she works at uh, at a, a, a at from a a a a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. And um, um, and sometimes um, and he and she is an assistant. Sorry, she's assistant. She receives document and she organizes. And sometimes she re receives documents and also she works hamster. Okay. All right. Okay. Manuel, revise ahí, por favor. Todos esos verbos tienen que estar en tercera persona singular. ¿Verdad? Entonces decimos, she receives, por decir algo, okay. she checks, she goes, she attends, she helps. Como estamos hablando de Gaby, tercera persona singular, esos verbos tienen que ir con S, ¿ok? Always, en uh, the end, es the, the S. Yes, sí, sí, es oración afirmativa en tercera persona, yes. All right. Okay, thank Very you, teacher. Good. Thank you. All right, let's listen to um, Jorgito and Vicky. Okay, teacher. Um, the the schedule Jorge uh -huh. is is not a specific, a specific time. Ah, oh, okay. Because because is the manager of the of this the company. <laughs> in the company. Yes, entonces um, from the day. start of the day and the end. Oh my goodness, Jorge. <laughs> You're always very busy, 24-7, Jorgito. Um. All right, okay. What about, um, Jorge, what yes. Vicky? Yeah, what about Vicky's schedule? Uh, Vicky's schedule in my work is from uh, 8 a.m. at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, ahí está, es el función de Vicky, el horario. All right. Okay. All right, very good. Let's see. What about um, Linda and Ever? Can you tell me, uh, Ever, can you tell me about Linda's schedule? And then, Linda, you tell me about Ever, please. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Linda. <laughs> Linda, okay. you Thank you. Okay, uh, Ever has the same schedule from Monday to Friday. Okay. He works 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. And I remember the person who is in charge of organizing a schedule is the manager. Ah. I think so, I don't remember very well. All right, very nice. Thank you, Linda, very nice. I could hear your... Um, the right use of the verbs, uh, Linda. Very nice. Thank you. All right. Siempre recordemos Thank you. Super bien. Thank you. All right, Evan. Tell me okay, about uh, Linda. Uh, Linda works in a construction company in the administration area. Okay. And uh, she has uh, the same shift. Oh, sorry, the same schedule during the week. Um, with the schedule, uh, with the shift, sorry, uh, to 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. from the Monday to Friday. And Saturday, she works to 8 p.m. at noon. Ah, all right, very good. And they, then you have Sundays off, Linda. Excellent, very nice. Yes, teacher. Very good. All right. And the last group, but not least, all right, Danny, Domingo, and Doris. All right. So, uh, Daniel, can you tell me about Domingo's uh, schedule? Okay. Um, uh, Domingo works from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, all week from Monday to Friday. Ah. It's the same, it's the same schedule. It's the same schedule. All right, very good. All right, but what about, um, do, uh, Doris, tell me about Daniel's schedule. Mm -hmm. 
And Daniel works from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. four days a week. And also his supervisor uh, give his the schedule. All right. He supervises the schedule, yes? Supervises. All right, very nice. Okay. Let's see. And Domingo, a ver, Daniel told me about Domingo. Doris told me about Danny. All right, so I guess we're done, right? Okay. Algo que quiero que tomen nota y todos y todas. Cuando hablamos de dos horarios, all right, por decir algo. De las 9 de la mañana a las 5 de la tarde o de las 9 de la mañana al mediodía. No importa, vamos a hacerlo así. Ahora voy a compartir mi, ah, voy a compartir mi pizarra. All right, entonces decimos from. Vamos a ver. Uh, she, por decir algo, ¿no? She works from 8. Uh, from eight to four, voy a poner, all right? Esa es las preposiciones correctas que usamos. De las nueve a las cuatro. All right, si usted lo quiere ver desde las ocho hasta las cuatro de la nueve. She works from eight to four. O otra forma de decirlo es she works from eight until... 6 p.m. Por decir algo, ¿no? 6 p.m. All right. From 8 until 6. All right. O si usted quiere decir she works. Uy, no le puse la S. She works. All right. She works for, por decir algo, 8 hours. All right. Ahí no me está dando un tiempo específico. No me está diciendo de a, ah, ¿verdad? Desde las a las. All right. So, ahí solo decimos ella trabaja 8 horas. All right. Eh, los compañeros que decían tienen el mismo horario, she has the same shift, eso está bien. All right. So, pero es importante recordar, es from to, tenemos dos horas. Si usted también me dice, ah, es que ella trabaja de lunes a viernes, o he, ¿verdad? He works from Monday to Friday. Ok, igual. From Monday, siempre que tengamos dos, vamos a decir from el inicio y to al final. All right. Si usted trabajara, por decir algo, eh, en el verano nada más o en el invierno, cuando trabajamos o vamos a otros países, en los horarios obviamente son diferentes. All right. Entonces dice, ah, she works from uh, summer to winter. All right. Entonces siempre que tengamos dos, decimos from and to. Okay, yes. All right, very good. I'm going to stop sharing here. Entonces, eso sí es importante. Recuerde que eh, hago el énfasis, y eso es para todos y todas. Hablamos de terceras personas singulares y esos verbos tienen que ir con S, E, S o I, -E S en todo caso. La idea es to pronounce them, ¿verdad? She works, she supervises, Vanessa takes, Gaby studies, Daniel... Uh, arranges, all right, tiene que sonar eso, si no se escucha raro, okay, yes, no se nos olvide eso. All right, let's continue then, guys, with the next page here. Uh, page 26, seguimos con building vocabulary, de hecho, la, la tarea que tienen ahora es sobre vocabulario, entonces esto les va a ayudar, all right, to see this, all right, it says building vocabulary, Draw a line from the word to its correct definition. Work is schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. Revise, no vea la definición todavía. Revise si entendemos todas. Work is schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. Everything okay? Now, dicen si tienen una duda con alguna. Call in. Ah, all right, call in. Hold on. All right, cuando usted dice I call in, lo más probable es que usted llamó 
a su trabajo y dice I fall in sick. Llamé para reportar que estoy enfermo o estoy enferma. All right, call in podría ser una o call in cuando le llaman para trabajar y usted no estaba programado o programada para trabajar ese día o a esa hora. All right, vamos a ver que realmente a qué se refieren ellos acá, pero pueden decir ambas cosas. Usted puede decir, voy a anotarles esta aquí. I, usted se siente mal y usted dice, I fall in sick. All right, se está reportando que está enfermo o está enferma. All right, now, revisen ahí las, eh, we have the definitions, we have the Over. words. Hola. Overtime es cuando llega tarde uno. Overtime. Overtime no, es tiempo extra. Ah, tiempo extra. Overtime, Ahí. sí. Cuando usted dice I work overtime, usted trabajó más horas de lo que le corresponde. Ah, sí, sobre tiempo. Ajá. No decimos ah, sí. extra hours, sino que usted dice I work overtime. All right. Revisen ahí y vayan haciendo the word with the definition y ya lo revisamos, ¿ok? Les doy que unos tres minutitos, dos minutitos, about that, y lo vamos corrigiendo.
All right, let's work on this one. It's have, it says work schedule. A ver, Johnny, can you read that one? Ya está hecha por ustedes. Pero igual le la porfa. Okay. Work schedule. A chart that presents a list of employees. The days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. Excellent, Johnny. Very nice. Thank you. All right. What about break? Veamos aquí quien nos ayuda con break. Um, I don't know. Hmm. Roberto, can you help us with break, please? Okay, teacher. Is uh, sorry, sorry. A small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. All right, very good, thank you. All right, let me see, what about Letty, can you do shift? The time of the day when a person works. Ah, all right, here. All right, what about overtime? Uh, me, teacher? Yes, go ahead. Ah, when you work more than regular working hours in a day or week. All right, very good. And then we have Daniel, can you talk, tell me about call in? Call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Very good, all right, very nice, thank you. So work schedule, we have a chart that represents a list of employees, the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. The break means a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Shift, the time of the day when a person works overtime, when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week, and call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Voy a dejar de compartir un ratito. A ver, from this group, guys, do you, do you work overtime ever? Do you guys work overtime? Mariano says no. What about the rest of you? Me, yo, yes, teacher. Okay. You'll see. <laughs> okay, you do, uh, yes. Every day. Every yes. day. Ah, okay. What about the rest of you guys? Do you guys work overtime? I. Domingo, you work My? overtime? Yes. Okay. Uh, I Sunday. I oh, know. Yes, Sunday. All right. Uh, well, mm -hmm. All right, very nice. Anybody else? Anybody else that works overtime? Well, yes, but sometimes in and sometimes I don't have tea time. Uh, for example, if a client uh, tell me I need I need to 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 do a a hi, se me fue la palabra pedido. Purchase order. Yes, and it's 6 p.m. and I, I have to go. Okay. I don't know. All right, all right, very good. Anybody else? Overtime? No? Now, the, the people that do work overtime, do you get paid extra for that overtime or not? Jorge is like, no. <laughs> what happened, no. Jorge? <laughs> Every day, every day. <laughs> All right. What about the rest of you? Do you like? Do you get paid for the overtime you work or not? No, not yet, teacher. All right. Only. And when? Well, I and sometimes I have to work. Uh, huh? and, uh, okay. And more time than the usual. 
So okay. in my case, I I try to finish that because um it, my impulse is important to do in in that moment. If okay. I, I uh, I do the following day. Uh, I have problems in this side and my board and okay and custom too. All right, I get it. All right, very nice. Okay, it's necessary. Right? Yes. Yeah, sometimes it's necessary. You're right. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do you guys have breaks in your work? Do you take lunch breaks or do you have more breaks in between or not really? A lunch break. You have a lunch break? How long for like how long is your lunch break, Mariano? Is it one hour? One hour. One hour, to... one hour. All right, very good. All right. Anybody else? Linda, how long is your lunch break? One hour uh, and Thirty minutes. Oh, all right, an hour and a half. Very good, Vane. How long is your lunch? Do you have a lunch break, Vane? Yes, it's from twelve thirty p.m. to two p.m. Okay. All right. Very nice. Very good. Ever, what about yours? Um, I don't know, teacher. I I don't have. You don't break have a lunch break? During the day. But yes, I only, only take a some minutes, a full minute to take a couple of coffee or, or two or three. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. But you have time to eat lunch ever? Yes, but uh, that, but knowing the one specific hour, um, I don't know when. What the meaning was, so don't they talk? I don't know. Sometimes 12, sometimes 11, or sometimes 3 p.m. Uh, yeah. I don't know. All right. Okay. I, I see. All right. Very good. Well, yeah, every job is different and depends the job that you do, also. All right. Let's continue with this, guys. You're going to go to your groups and work together for number six. It says, look at the schedule and answer the questions below. All right, aquí tenemos Laura, Tomás, Sofía, Carlos. The day, September 5th, September 6th, 7th, 8th, and 9th. All right, so this is the uh, schedule for these people, and you have to answer. All right, number one, two, three, four, and five, based on this. Y mañana vamos a trabajar en nuestros propios horarios. All right? All right, so number exercise number six, Questions one to five, all right, based on the schedule that we have there. Voy a abrir los mismos grupos, so we go now. Let's go to our groups. Vane, in, in which group are you working in, Vanessa? Okay. Number two, teacher. All right. Thank you, Vane. Ya la mandé. Ah, Roberto, ¿en qué grupo estaba? ¿Se recuerda? Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hola Roberto, ¿en qué grupo estaba? ¿Se acuerda? Eh, estaba con uh, no recuerdo cómo se llama, creo que Jorge o Vicky, no. No. A ver, Ever y Linda. No tampoco. All right, pero igual, lo voy a mandar a una de esas dos salas porque ahí solo hay dos. Ajá, creo que era Every. Sí, creo que ellos eran. Sala cinco, ok, creo. ahorita lo mando, no se preocupe.
No, no sé qué. Teacher. Miren. Dígame. Fíjese que yo, por estar peleando con la Kimberly, cuando usted la mandó al grupo, no escuché bien. Entonces, pero aquí estamos peleando, pero yo estoy peleando con el cuadro que aquí en la, en la pregunta dice que si quién se encarga de las compras de martes a viernes. Yo le viendo el cuadro, dice Kitchen Manager de martes a viernes, Laura, pero no dice que ella es la que se encarga de las compras. ¿En qué se basa eso? Ahorita le veo. ¿Se acuerda arriba en el ejercicio 3, Vicky, donde teníamos las ¿Sí? definiciones de la página 25? Sí. Y dice sí, sí. que Kitchen Manager se encarga de crearlos, uh, perdón, de contratar a las personas, comprar, hacer las compras de comida. Ajá, ¿dónde están las definiciones? Yo creo que basado Ajá. en esto que hoy ya sabemos, ¿qué hace un kitchen manager? Sería Laura. Ah, ah Laura. ok. ¿Verdad? Laura sería. Sí, yo creo que ella es la kitchen manager y se supone que el kitchen manager hace esas compras, Jorge. Ah, ok. Ajá. Le estoy contando a don Jorge que vino a verme. Sí, yo llegué, Jorquito. Mire qué chévere. Sí. Nos fuimos de fin de semana a La Palma. En diciembre, en noviembre, teacher. Ay, no, cállese, me voy a congelar. Bien, andaba, fue un día, don Jorge, que estaba haciendo bastante frío. Estaba frío. Sí. Sí, estaba haciendo bastante frío. La vez que nos tocó que quedarnos a dormir con David en el hospital, aquel ni los zapatos se quitó. Santo Dios, sí, es verdad. Sí. sí, pero ese día que vino la teacher estaba haciendo bastante frío y viento. ¿A cuánto estaba más o menos? No me acuerdo, sí, como a, como a 17, ¿verdad, teacher? Tipo 6 de la tarde, a 17 estaba, ¿verdad? A ver, frío. <risa> pero estaba bien frío. Ya estaba sí. bueno. Sí. Hemos quedado con ganas de regresar, así que ahí vamos a llegar otra vez. Cuando quiera. Y le avisamos a don Jorge para que hagamos una sola caravana. Sí, ¿no? <risa> Está bien. Para que vaya al pital, teacher. Sí, Vicky, llévenme. <risa> Yo no conozco. <risa> en serio, Vicky. No, no, va a no nunca he ido. Don Jorge nos va a llevar y a conocer porque yo no conozco tampoco. Sí. Poco usted, teacher, no conoce. No, yo nunca he ido, Jorge, pero siempre he querido ir. Allá está bonito. Me imagino. Bonito, sí. Hay, hay que, que sacar. Hay que armar un viajecito. <risa> Avisen. <risa> Ahí a teacher, ahí está ya la invitación, mire. No, ya, ya la vamos a apuntar, no se preocupe. <risa> Vaya. Vaya. Entonces, don, don Jorge, empezamos con Who is Change. Sería Laura.
Hola, Leti. Hola, Leti. Hi, teacher. Hi, se salió. Sí, teacher. I, I, I thought uh, that is uh, que no había nadie en silencio. Por eso me salí. ¿Estás trabajando con nadie en el grupo? ¿Cómo no? Pero we finish. Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. All right. Hace para arriba, mucha. All right. That's ok. Ahorita ya que se por aquí. All right, guys, everybody finished? All right, everybody's done, yes? Yep, all right, yes, right. Teacher. This quickly here, tal vez, all right. Number one, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? Laura is in charge. Yes, Laura is in charge. All right. ¿Cómo sabemos that Laura is in charge of that? Because Laura is the kitchen manager. Because Laura is the kitchen manager, right? Very nice. Very good. Number two, it says, when is the dish dishwasher's day off? The day of the dishwasher is Wednesday. Wednesday, yes, it's Wednesday. Very nice. Number three, how long is Thomas' break? His breaks 30 minutes. Uh, Thomas' break is 30 minutes. Yeah, how long is Thomas' break? 30 minutes. Yes, very nice. Number four, what is Sophia's job in the restaurant? Sofia is a bartender. Sofia is a bartender. Very nice. And when is her vacation? Her vacation is from Friday to Saturday. Very good. Yes, very nice. And the last one, it says, when is Carlos on training? When is Carlos on training? He has a training for a Tuesday. All right, his training is on, on uh, Tuesdays. And what is his schedule on Fridays? His schedule from eight to six. Yeah, all right. Does he have a, does he have a break? One hour. One hour, very good. All right, guys, let's see. I'm gonna stop sharing right now. Tomorrow we're going to continue. We're going to work on our own schedules and I have an, another activity and then we will work with the superlatives, all right? So I'm going to take attendance so you guys may go. And maybe Gabby can say a little a little bit with me, all right? Tini Gonzalez, Adela Tina Gonzalez con suegra. Presente, presente. Yes, all right. Then we have Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel, thank you. Cla uh, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. All right, let's see. Uh, Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Domingo Alexander González. Present teacher. 
Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present. Junio Mar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Yulinda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Antonio Camilla Jurado. Present teacher. María Gabriela Batres Mármol. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Luis Martínez Ortiz. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present teacher. Thank you. Julio César Vega Aguilar. Doris Guadalupe Alfaro Rodríguez. Present. A Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. And we have Joana Beatriz Orellana Acevedo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Si no han terminado el examen de medio curso, por favor, terminenlo tonight. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye, Bye. teacher. Hello. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hi, Gabby. Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Just a little tired. I know it. Eh? I, I, I was sick. Like, I started to feel sick at 2 a.m. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't sleep well. Oh, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope it's nothing serious. No, no. I just ate uh, something last night. And it was It was really, it was good. But I don't know why my stomach was like that. Como revuelto. All right. Okay. Mm, pero nada más. All right. That's good. All right, Gabby, is there anything that you need help with or you have any questions about what we have studied so far through the course or everything is fine with you? No, I I think I was, everything is going really well. Just... Uh, Problema mío que a veces se me traba la lengua. <laughs> All right, but wait, 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 wait. give me a second, guys. Hold on. All right, there's a big truck coming. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I understand. All right, but you're doing really well, Gabby. I mean, it's just you know you just keep on practicing and speaking, and eventually you'll stop feeling that you get stuck because you are doing really well. Okay, thank you. Is there any uh, uh, any kind of advice that you could get me para mejorar la fluidez? I think just by listening, Gabby. I think I, I'm pretty sure you listen to movies and stuff in English. Just keep on doing that because that makes mm -hmm. your ear like get more practice and get more used to of like listening different people and different accents. So mm -hmm. it helps you just kind of like learn more vocabulary without really learning it just by listening to it. So I think the more mm -hmm. vocabulary you have, the easier it is for you to get more fluent. All right, so okay. read in English, listen to movies in English and just practice the most, like the most that you can. All right, but you, mm -hmm. you get it there. I mean, you're, you're there already. You just need a little bit more vocabulary and then you'll be great. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Listen to movies or read more books in English. And then that's, that's what you're missing. A little bit more vocabulary and that's it. All right. Okay. okay I understand. Thank you. Everything okay with the platform? You're up to date? Yes, right? You told me, I think. Yes. I think I met. I made uh, the first homework from unit three. Excellent, very good. Yep, all right. Excellent, mm -hmm. where, where you're supposed to. <laughs> all right, Gabby, I'll let you go. Okay. Thank you so much for staying and for meeting. Thank you. Every day. Hope you feel better. Thank you, have a great night. You too, Gabby, bye.